I started writing the programs in the early 80s. I used a QX3 sequencer and MIDI keyboard to work out the notes. The programs were sold in the small ads section of three issues of Acorn User Magazine. I sold the discs to over 60 locations during three years. The screen displays were usually based on the single covers. These were created in a separate program and saved as a screen to load back later. This screen was based on the dashboard of my dad's princess. Some graphics were designed on graph paper and then coded into user-defined characters. This is the beginning of the Ghostbusters program. Use a procedure to print the title in double height characters. Define a small text window, switch off the cursor, and make white look black. Load the complete screen from disk. Flush buffers, disable the escape key, and enable sound. Wait a bit, then restore the colors to normal. Define arrays, variables and envelopes. This string sets which sections to play. If the string is a star, play the drum roll fade in part. Calculate the right line to read the data from, and restore to it. Read the envelopes and data to use. Wait a bit. Calculate the note value. Play the notes. Five sections of data, with envelope numbers followed by three lines of pitch data. Different techniques were used in the programs. The lyrics used an additional data source, synced to the melody line. When there were no lyrics, I used a scrolling piano roll. Spooling the graphics from a file to redraw them. Using an interrupt to animate the colors whilst the program deals with the music.